Hey, so in this video I'll be showing you how to fix a leaking uni seal. The leaky uni seal that I'll be fixing is on my fish tank for my aquaponic system. The best way would be to actually replace the uni seal, um, but since it will be a pain to take it out and to take all the pipes out and drain the water, I'm just going to be trying to use some uh, aquarium silicone. So I'll be using some aquarium silicone. I'll put that on the outside of it and then hopefully it seals. So I'll show you doing that and then after waiting, see how the results are. This is the uni seal I'll be fixing. As I said, the best would be to replace that whole uni seal, but this is all glued and to take it out, I'll have to drain all the water from here. That's 300 gallons. And then take this out and push it back in, uh, put a new one in or twist it around and see if it works. But otherwise, to prevent doing that, because it's already all plumbed and everything's lined up, I'm gonna just try using aquarium silicone and put it along the inside, of, all around the inside of this and hopefully that works. Um, so the first thing you want to do is basically drain a little the water so that it doesn't come over the top. My water level goes until here at the moment, so I don't have any water in there. And then I'll put the silicone in there and then wait the 24 hours for it to cure. So as you can see, this is the silicone I'm using. I got it from Home Depot, it's like $5, so it's not bad. So what I'll first do is take this part this is where the, you'll put on the top of the cap and put it through. I'll cut the tip off as small as I can so I can get a, um, this shoved into the part of this the uni seal that I'll be using. Or I mean, where I need the silicone to go. It's hard to show because of the spot my tub is in, but what I'll be doing is I'll be taking the silicone tip, shoving it in here, and then just putting a bead all the way around. And then after I do that, then wait 24 hours and check if it if it leaks. The nice thing about the silicone is it's not gluing it, it's just sealing it, so I can always take it out later if I need to move the system or do something else. So after you seal it, you want to get a good amount on there, and after you do that then you can wait 24 hours for it to cure and then fill it up and check it out. So I'll get back to you after I wait 24 hours. You can see that I have the silicone here on the inside as well. I put it on both sides just to have an extra protection. So the results after a couple months, no leaking. The silicone. All right, so it's been a couple months trying to get back here to show you this. Um, the uni seal's up there. And so basically, yeah, I sealed it on both sides using that aquarium silicone you can see up there it is not leaking which is great this was a simple way to fix it without having to replace the uniseal because I had to get back here and everything and move the whole tub and drain it so I put silicone on this side as well as on the inside of it um, to make it a better seal so yeah if you have any questions or comments please leave them below otherwise please give a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe